so by now I think most of you are very well aware that we are getting a brand new Spider-Man game on the PlayStation 4 and it is of course exclusive to the PlayStation 4. Now if you're one of the people that loves the Spider-Man video games, which honestly I own pretty much all of them since 1994. Five, I think if that's when Maximum Carnage came out, you know, I like to collect these things But um a lot of people might just be interested in playing some of the more recent ones like the amazing spider-man Which had two games of course one which was of course the sequel to the first movie and then the second one was kind of its own thing More or less um it really wasn't related to the movies at all if you're interested in getting those games I hope you're not interested in getting them digitally, because as of today, the licenses to those games have lapsed away from Activision, who was of course the developer. And the bad news is, you cannot buy these games anymore on the digital storefronts. Now this wouldn't be the first time this has happened on um, multiple times in the past with a uh, you know, uh, various games really by Marvel. The Ultimate Alliance series, the X-Men Legends, when they were removed off some of the digital stores they were on, or um, even just like the licenses lapsed, those games disappeared. And uh, they're very hard to come by items right now. Uh, and a lot of collectors are already, you know, starting to resell these for triple the used price of what you could buy them literally weeks before these games were available. And uh, that's just kind of the truth about how the nature of these things plays out. So my advice is if you have any interest in owning these games, uh, you know, if you bought them digitally, they should be safe for now, although I have had digital licenses expire for me, the Battlestar Galactica game on 360, can't get it at all, even though I bought it and the license expired, so if you're interested in it, the physical copies, you're probably still able to buy them at um, GameStops or wherever they sell used games, I would suggest you guys go out there and get the first one and the second one, I know a lot of people are going to ask which one is better, to me personally, the first one, um, I actually think that's one of the best Spider-Man games ever made. It's a really solid game, great story, great gameplay. Um, I really just loved everything about it, and I loved how it picked up right after the first movie and does its own crazy thing, and there's a lot of good boss fights and everything, so I would advise that. And obviously the gameplay you're seeing is The Amazing Spider-Man 2 on PS4, and this was just me kind of swinging around and everything, having fun. Honestly, I don't like this one as much as I like the first one, to be honest with you, but it does have its own cool little unique features that you can maybe enjoy um so there it is guys um if you're gonna get these two games go get them in physical form in the next couple days before the prices jack up